Hey, I had the kind of, I had an amazing experience. It was an experience. It was a little crazy, but it was an experience. So I was at the store, I was at Publix, and I was looking for the matzo crackers because my regular saltines, like they got yeast in them. So I was looking for the matzo crackers. And um, I knew that I was going to either get the Manischewitz or the Yehuda Matzos. Um, so I'm looking, you know, and I pick up, I see the Manischewitz, you know, and I pick it up. And I'm looking at it and it says, not for Passover. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and so this guy comes up and he's looking for the same thing. And we're looking at him and he's like, he said something like, you know, they weren't baked. And I'm like, what that mean? <laughs> you know, I really, really, really want to understand. I want to know. So I'm like, what that mean? And so he was saying how the um, unleavened bread, the matzo cracker, is nothing but flour and water. And he said that it sits for 18 minutes and then it's baked. Um, but those, they were matzo. They just were not. Um, and it literally said it on the box, not for Passover. And so I'm standing there and I'm talking to him and I'm looking. And then I see the Yehuda matzos. I'm going to show y'all these. The, the Yehuda matzos. And it literally says on here, may be used for Passover and year round. So, um, but there was two. There was the brown box that I just showed you. And then there was this blue box. And I'm like. Well, what's the difference between the two? And the brown box has onion, toasted onion in it. So I'm like, you know, I need a little flavor. Let me get that one. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm talking to him, this this guy who apparently is Jewish. I'm talking to him, you know, about these. And he was saying that he's going to have to talk to people about the um Matzos, right? You know, because he was like, I, he didn't feel like having to go to a whole nother store, you know, because he's really, really particular and he wanted to make sure he had. And so anyway, we're talking and he says to me, you know, about getting all the leaven out the house, like all your breads, you know, out the house. And I'm listening to him and he says what they do. This is a Jewish guy. That's like he like it was really exciting for me to talk to this guy, you know, who like is really into this and, and knows, you know. But he says to me, he said what they do is they bag up all of their breads, you know, their flour, their bread. You know, I, well, I don't know about the flour. I'm guessing the flour too, but they bag up their breads, you know, and, and then they sell it to their neighbor for a dollar. They all, they, they sell it to each other for a dollar. You know, the neighbor sells their bread to, like he says, he sells his bread to his neighbor for a dollar. His neighbor sells his bread to him for a dollar. And so I told him, I said, well, I don't kind of, I, I don't kind of worry about that part because, you know, my husband has to eat, you know, so I don't worry about that part. But for me to get the leaven out the house, since I'm not physically removing crackers and breads out the house, I said to him, I say, this is the house. And so to get the leaven out the house, I make sure that I'm not walking or operating in a spirit of pride. And he kind of looked at me. <laughs> and he was like, you know, you do, you know. He was like, you do what you, you know. <laughs> but I was, anyway, and I told him, I was like, thank you. He was like, you know, I have a happy Passover, something he said to that effect. And I was like, thank you, you too. And I was still standing there and still looking in and, you know, like taking it all in. But that kind of reminded me of an experience I had when 
I was at the hospital where my mom was. Where my mom was in the hospital. And this particular person felt the need to say to me, I'm a minister. Talking about him, himself. He said, when people look at me, you know, I dress in suits wherever I go. And when people look at me, they know that I'm a minister because I look like a minister. And I'm sitting there like, I'm thinking to myself like, dressing like a minister make you a minister? <laughs> I didn't say anything. At that time, I didn't say anything. I kept my mouth shut. Like, I was like, hmm. And I thought to myself that wearing a suit does not make a person a minister at all. Just because you wear a suit, that means you're a minister. No, 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 no. <laughs> and that, and this experience reminded me of that because, and oh, and I told the guy, I said that when I, think 11 and getting it out the house I'm reminded of what Jesus said to the disciples about be, um, uh, uh, he said oh what did he say he said beware of the leaven of the Pharisees I think that's how I said it and when he said that to them it had nothing to do with physical bread he was telling them to beware of the teaching of the Pharisees. So I understand that when it comes to getting leaven out of the house, this is the house. I understand that this is what I need to clean up. This is what I need to get in order. I need to present myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. So when he said that they bag up all of their leaven, all of their breads and crackers and stuff, and they sell it to one another for a dollar, and that takes care of that. And I'm thinking to myself, The face, I think I must have had a look on my face. I don't always know the looks that be on my face. I think I must have had a look on my face. But I was thinking to myself, like, really? <laughs> you still get bread in the house. You still get physical bread in the house just because you sold it. That means you took care of that obligation to not have nothing. Like, what? And for that reason, that's why I say that I don't do the traditions of men. I want to understand. Hold on. Okay, so for that reason, that's why I say I don't do the traditions of men. I don't do the traditions of men. I don't want to go through the motions, you know, <laughs> bagging up your breads and selling it and you get leaven out your house like for real but you still keeping up confusion and yeah. mm -mm. <laughs> or entertaining yeah. mm -mm. so yeah, I can't I can't do traditions. I want to understand and that's what I've been saying to the Lord. You know, I want to understand. I, I I want to understand. I don't want to go through the motions. I don't want to do the 2 hours. I don't want to I don't I don't <laughs> I want to understand and the Lord has been blessing with me because I am seeking, I'm digging, I am knocking. And that's what he said. So, but this year, like, I've I've not 
done this before where I've gotten the matzo. It's just this year I just felt I want the matzo. <laughs> I want the matzo, so yeah, I want to taste it, I want to try it, yeah, alright y'all, bye, oh, before I hang up this, before I turn this video off, um, today is Monday, tomorrow, Tuesday at 6pm, begins nice and 14. I am so excited. It goes from tomorrow, Tuesday um, at 6 p.m. all the way to uh, all the way to Wednesday at 6 p.m. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I really am. All right, let me just go. Bye.